space funeral too. Before we do that, I have a little something else. And it's not bad gas. I promise. This is a game called Downwell. And I'm going to play that for a little bit. And then we'll do Space Funeral 2. So this is something that was... I think it's still on sale for really cheap. And it was recommended by some people. Including KY, who... Usually I take his suggestions because he's got, we have similar tastes in, in indie games, I'd say somewhat, somewhat. Anyway, this one looks pretty good. So let's check it out for a few minutes and then Space Funeral 2, The Shackening. So this is developed by Devolver Digital. Okay. Option. There we go. Now I can see what the hell I'm doing. Tate mode? Is that that Channing Tatum's guy... What's his name? Tater Scrotum? Oh. Oh, no time is wasted. So I guess I'm a hand. I'm the fucking hamburger helper. Oh, well, this is a little louder than I thought it would be. Hang on. I thought my character was a hand. I was like, wait a minute. Did the developers of Plug and Play have anything to do with this? Devolver Digital made Hotline Miami. Oh. Alright, so I shoot bullets from my foot. From my feet. And, um, I collect red cubes. Turtles are invincible. Okay, you have to land to reload. It's kind of cool. I think my weapon just got powered up. Alright, so I have to fight jelly beans and turtles. I, I like both of these things in real life. However, if you give jelly beans like a claw or two, you got a Metroid. And those things can eat a dick. Yeah, laser. <laughs> wow. Yo, this is pretty good. Collecting cubes, you know, using foot lasers. This isn't that bad. Um, let's see. What's my upgrade? Lift off, rocket jump. Stomping on enemies causes a blast or long, longer state of invincibility. Let's do blast module. Yeah, explosion is good. Definitely. I like explosion. Oh, oh I'm taking damage. Um, rice ball heals 1 HP, that's charge and HP max plus 1. I, I gotta get a rice ball. 
wonder if you can rob from the shops like you could in Spelunky. Oh man. Oh, I keep fucking touching enemies from the side. It's getting me killed. No, don't do full screen mode. The game just put itself in full screen mode for no reason when I reset. It's weird. I guess this is like a rogue-ish kind of game. I wouldn't say rogue-like, but it's... The, I guess people are using the term rogue light. It's got elements of that. It, I think... It looks like things are randomized. There's permadeath. Which is basically, you go deaf. Permanently. When you listen to the sound effects in the game. But yeah, it's got, it's got those elements. I wonder if- I, I thought I did a double jump earlier. I guess I didn't. And fuck turtles. I am so sick of turtles and jelly beans by now. For a minute, I actually felt bad killing the jelly beans. But now I don't- I don't really give a shit. They shouldn't be reproducing. Okay, reverse engineering. Shoot a gun module to resh um, reshuffle it once. Lift off. Consume some dead bodies to gain health. Yep. Uh, rice ball I can't have. And frogs, too. Gem high? Oh, I'm fucking high on gems. I don't know what it does, but... I really like this game. This is good. It's simple. It's effective. And fuck this game. It sucks dick. Getting killed by birds? No, I'm kidding. I like it. I unlocked a new character style. Oh, wait. No, I didn't. Never mind. This is not a game where finding health is easy. Ow. So, you know, your best bet is to just not die. Puncher. To win this game, do not die. Oh, this weapon's pretty cool. Yo! Gems! Did you guys see the Diddy Kong Racing run? The AGDQ Diddy Kong Racing run? That made me want to play that game... ...again. So bad. Oh, I see. I love all the glitches. AGDQ is happening right now. I'm sure most of you know. If you don't know what it is, it's just awesome games done quick. Where it's... Speedrunning for a good cause. 
and it's my favorite week of the year. Well, my favorite two weeks of the year. Okay, that's taking it a little bit far. I like it. Let me let me tone it down from favorite two weeks of the year to favorite week of the week when it happens. I do like it a lot though. I tend to watch a lot of it. And it's been really good so far. The Mario 64 I watched. I watched Diddy Kong. And that's it. I gotta watch the Monkey Ball stuff. I was actually a, a really big Monkey Ball fan for a while. And... Yeah. Pretty good. There's a, a number of Monkey Balls this year. Also, Secret of Mana is being speedrun. And that is amazing. I don't think I've ever watched a speedrun of Secret of Mana. I'm excited for that one. That's number one on my list at the moment. Sped run. Increases range, increases accuracy. Ah, accuracy. Uh, gain 4 HP. Oh, that doesn't increase my max HP. I thought it did. Whoops. This is like... A, it kind of reminds me of Spelunky. Tower Climb. It's a reverse Tower Climb. Meets... Um... I was gonna say, it's almost a little nuclear throne with the upgrades. They're like mutations. Okay, shit's getting hard now. Battery. Let's charge. I'm not really sure what the charge does. Okay, I'm gonna die. Combos are everything. I'm gonna go again. I'm gonna go a few more times, and then we'll resume Space Funeral. Two. Or three. Or, or, f I think it's three. It's called Earth Burf. But I don't really know if all of the sequels are canon. Uh, I'm not really sure. Charge equals more ammo. Oh, okay. I see. That could be helpful. Blue. Ah, oh, blue looks so good. Noppy. I, I don't know what Noppy means, but I'll take it. Noppy! I have never heard of a weapon called a Noppy. I've heard of a Nappy, but not a Noppy. It almost sounds like a racial slur. I don't, I don't think we should be saying Noppy anymore. The fact that it could be a racial slur, that's- pfft, Whoa, we can't even- let's not go there. Lift off, shoots a gun mod- oh, right, right, right. Um, rocket jump. Let's try rocket jump. I know numpty is an English term that we Americans don't use. Turtle, please. I see what you guys mean about combos. Yeah, the chat over there is, is insane. It's just ruined. Everything's ruined and then saved. And then, like, just, you know various types of Kappas. It's just, but there's no real, I mean, there's no real way to have a conversation. 
There's no real way. If this chat had 40,000 people in it, it would be the same shit. There is a small person. You know, on- that was interviewing someone on AGDQ. And I felt really bad because the chat just kept saying Tyrion Lannister. And worse. Like, over and over again. I knew it was gonna happen. I was waiting for it. I was like, as soon as I saw him, I was like, this chat is gonna be fucking brutal. About this guy. And they were predictably brutal. Oh yeah, when there's a girl, any- any kind of girl, it's- it's like grill chat, Ever, everyone's talking about grills. Yeah, I just... Ooh. I, I'm learning to maybe just hide the chat <laughs> when I watch AGDQ. You guys want to grill? I'll make you some burgers. I will do an actual stream. Where I live stream me barbecuing. Combo! Combo award! You can wall jump? No, I won't actually do that. You can wall jump if you- if you what? If you have full knob? What does that mean? I'm so fucked. Whoa. Shooting dead bodies causes them to explode. Getting gems recharges gun boots. Um... Oh my god. Oh, there's spikes now. Oh my god. Oh my god, this game. I am so fucking dead. Oh no, I can't step on bones. Arm spin style. Only finds gun modules. Shops are rare. Okay. It's worth a shot. I don't know why the game keeps putting itself in full screen. Triple. Oh, I see. I see. Combos. Get combos many times. Many times good, yes. Taking unnecessary damage. Check your settings and see if it's on full screen. Okay. Beep boop, I'm a drone. Okay. Display. Full screen off. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's already off. Ow, bat, fuck you. Try Tate mode. Triple. I like triple. It's pronounced Tate. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. A nice memma A. There was someone at my old job that pronounced them as memes. Memes. game having a really 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 high learning curve well you know what? i don't want to say high learning curve but it's just it's hard to get it's hard to master easy to pick up hard to master you've heard that expression before that's this game precisely falling on an enemy to get a combo and not fucking touching them from the side is hard man we unlocked g-boy palette Few more runs. Uh, three more runs. Maximum. Cabbage green. You don't know dedication until you've tried to play a Game Boy. Original Game Boy. in the back seat of a car at night. It's it's torture. But if you can manage to pull it off, then you were able to play your games. I was able to play my games that way. I remember playing Link's Awakening in my dad's Buick. Fucking cars like car um Headlights behind us lit the way. And street lights only provided so much light. I just had to, I had to hope for a car to drive by at the right time so I could see what the fuck I was doing for a second. Try that. Really sure I like the cat this character as much. No shops is not a very good thing. I need shops. I need I need health. Oh, those fuckers. Spiky fuckers. God damn it, spiky fuckers.
All right, let's do classic. Game Boy style kind of sucks. It's cool for one time. There we go. I'm kind of getting the hang of it. Uh, pretty balloon. Don't know what that does. But I really would like to find out. I just got an achievement. Yay, achievements. Oh, uh, goodbye balloon. Charge heals 2 HP. Yeah, I need the 2 HP. Get a charge as well. This is also a game that looks a lot easier than it is. Like, when I watched KY play this a while back, I thought it looked possible, and not too hard. No, it's, it's pretty hard. Nope! Let's see, dead body consumption. God damn it! Oh, I was going well too. B boy. Oh, is it virtual boy? I'm gonna do usual style this time, and then I'll do V boy. And this will be the last run. Oh, it's just extra red. Nope. I can already tell. So we watched a movie called Double Down yesterday. Which is the most enlightening movie I've I've probably ever seen. I um it's on YouTube if you want to watch it. And Red Letter Media did they covered it on Best of the Worst. And they pretty much agreed it's one of the best things they've ever seen. And it really, really is one of the best things ever created by by any human. It, 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 my face, the whole time I was watching this movie, it, I had two expressions, joy or confusion. And not like a little bit of each, I'm talking like the fullest extent of joy or confusion at any given time. I was enthralled by this movie, as were most of us that were watching it. So if you can, if you have some time, get some friends together, and watch a movie called Double Down, starring Neil Breen, directed by Neil Breen, written by Neil Breen, Jesus by Neil Breen.
it's an experience that you don't want to miss. It's an experience you'll remember for the rest of your life. I plan on watching it again with my friends later on this week, to be totally honest. <laughs> they need to see it. This is one of the few things where I, de I determined immediately, like, 25% through the movie, I was like, I need to show this to my friends, and they, I need to watch it again. You know how The Room is a bad movie that is like really not self-aware of, of how bad it is, but then Tommy Wiseau later on was like, Oh, you can enjoy the movie, you can clap, you can laugh, anything you want! No, this movie is basically Neil Breen auto filleting himself for an hour and a half. It is how he's a hacker, the best hacker in the world, who finds a stone that can cure cancer. And while that's happening, he saves the Las Vegas Strip from, from terrorism that he himself was about to do on the Las Vegas Strip. If I'm not describing it well, it's because I fully don't- I don't fully understand what it is either. Even after watching it, I still don't really know the story. And that's why I want to recommend the movie Double Down. You can just type Neil Breen Double Down on YouTube and you will find it. It is available right, right on there. One HP. Place your bets on how long I'm gonna last down here. I say 30 seconds. Which is being generous. Oh, there you go. Dead. Surface. Oh, title screen. Well, this was amazing. This is a really good game. I, I recommend it. If you're looking for a good, fast-paced action shooter that's a little different, but feels familiar, I think this is a good choice. And it's I think it's only two bucks. So, yeah, I like that a lot. That was really good. So, we're going to take a quick break. And I will be back with Space Funeral 2 or 3. <laughs> I don't know. But I'll be back with it in a few minutes, and it, it is going to be amazing. So please stick around, and I will see you very shortly. We're going to smoke weed with Dracula. Be right back. 